type 1 and type 2 errors. There are a couple different type of errors that researchers can make when they're running a statistical analysis. Ones that claim that something's happening, it's not really happening, type 1 errors. And these are more grievous type of errors. And type 2 is more just unfortunate <laughs> errors. Um, you know, not being able to prove that something is working and it, and it really does. So let's, let's go through both of these now. Do keep in mind that alpha is, um, is a symbol that we use or the probability of committing a type 1 error, right? And we're not going to go into this too much, but any kind of future stats classes you take, um, you might go into a little bit more. And then a beta is your probability of committing a type 2 error, okay? So let's go through these next scenarios here. Um, and let's see what kind of error we might be committing, right? It's been shown many times that on certain memory tests, recognition is substantially better than recall. Um, however, the probability value for the data that you collected was 0.12, so you're not able to really reject that null hypothesis, right? So your, your obtained statistical value was not um, greater than your critical value that you were looking for. Um, so what type of error are you most likely committing? You're probably committing a type 2 error. Right? Because what's happening is um, everybody else can show that recognition right, is substantially better than recall. But for whatever reason on yours, you're saying that no, no, it, it doesn't work. And so what, what you're not able to do is really kind of prove this phenomenon. That's why I was, when I started the, this little video, I was kind of about how um, type 2 errors are more like um, unfortunate <laughs> errors, right? Um, it, it's your medicine works, but you can't prove it. Your treatment's effective, but you can't prove it. Your therapy helps people, but you can't prove it, okay? Or at least you can't prove it on a statistically significant level. Let's look at the next one. In the population, there is no difference between men and women on a reading mastery test. However, you found a difference in your sample. What type of error are you most likely committing? You're probably committing a type one error. Right? Because what you're doing is you're saying, yeah, 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 there's totally difference between a man and a woman on this reading mastery test, and, and there's really not, right? So you're claiming that your medicine works, it cures people, but it doesn't. You're saying that your therapy is very effective, it's not. Or that your new teaching strategy is just wonderful, miraculous, and it, it's not, right? So again, type one error is, claim, is rejecting that null hypothesis when it should not have been rejected. A type two error is failing to reject that null hypothesis when you really should have rejected it. 